Ooh, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day downstairs in the shop. Gonna have some fun. Gonna have some fun right now. Got some aluminum sitting around. And started thinking of some things. Started thinking of some things. Remember when I took my cold steel 1917 buoy and re-gripped it, gave it a little bird's head? Oh gosh, I love this damn thing. Um it um it's fantastic and I, I love it so much but um it really really works for me and what i did is i removed the old um i removed the old set of scales and i didn't know what i was going to do with them i thought maybe i'll just trash them maybe i'll just do whatever but i kept them and not only did i keep them but i also had that um this gil hibben blade it was like a like a Rambo wannabe blade, but it had the worst handle ever made on a knife on it. Um, it was just terrible. And I was using it, boom, and broke it because it was a rat tail on the end of a really boxy, bulky handle with this big, fat, awful guard. Just typical Gil Hibben stuff, right? And I thought, well, what if I put the two together except customize it? take this piece off, round this a little bit, do some filler, maybe some decorative pins. I don't know. I got some ideas and I was thinking I can go without a guard since I have this piece right here and I could just round that really square steel right there because it was made to hold a guard. That's why it's square. Um, because it fits really nice in the hand as is. But then I started thinking, well, what if I used a thin guard because then it won't take some away and it will block those new holes that are there. So I think I might do a combo using the original scales from this knife. That looks way better. Um, the original scales from that knife, which is this, but alter them. And the Gil Hibben blade. I can't remember what the hell it's called, but it's literally just a Rambo ripoff. Remember when um, Jimmy Lyle did the first Rambo knife, and then he did the second Rambo knife, and then in the, in the third movie... Gil Hibben was called in to do a knife, and the first knife he did was an absolute ripoff of um, Lyle's knives. It was like this, except it was a hollow handle, right, with black string and big, and it had a disgustingly awful guard on it. But um, so basically, since Hibben already did the job of making one of the most beautiful knife shapes in the world that Lyle already did, um, I figure why not keep it around just in case so that's what i did i kept it around so as you can see it is boop right to there and then it is a really crappy piece of that so trying to figure out where the holes would line up one of them would be able to be pinned and the rest of this thing would have to be like jb welded so i would literally do one pin and then some filler in these holes which would be just fine, um, which would absolutely work, but it would fit perfectly um, in there, even doing the um, doing the guard. It would sit about that far off, so it would fit pretty much like that, you know what I mean, with the guard on there, except seated in there real nice, and then I would have to just take all that down, do the rest, and then shape the guard to an appropriate manner. So first things first, I have to um, I have to make a guard size. So I'm thinking this piece right here will be just fine for it. Um, and I don't know if I want to go that route or just give myself more space and be able to come down a little farther. So I'm going to work that out in my head real quick and then get back to you. All right. So I cut out a piece that is going to be long enough to do what I want to do. It's really freaking hot. Um, but now what I have to do is drill a little hole and then file all the way through to make a slot big enough for this square piece to fit through. And then I can start to shape it with, with the grinders. So that comes next all right so with a little bit of bleeding and a whole lot of work i was able to cut through a guard that thing is on there super tight as is 
and it's still going to get some JB weld when the handle goes on. Um, but at least I have the size right of what I need. And what I did is I made it just a little bit too small and just started banging on it with a, um, with a file to wedge it in there. And it is wedged in there. So that's really good. So now when I actually start getting everything to go, I will have, let's see if I can squeeze that in there. Mama got a squeeze box, she wears on her chest. All right, so, well, you'll be able to see. Uh, there we go, kinda. So, there we go. Um, push that on there. This is how I cut my hand. Um, grabbing the blade. Um, but you'll see it'll it'll have that effect, but this is gonna be rounded, this is gonna be shaped, um, and then it's gonna be glued on, and it's going to be just perfect with the scales that'll be ground down um i think this is going to be kind of awesome this is going to be a way better than how hibben did did his handle and b it's just going to be stronger um so what comes next is i need to line this up and drill the hole here so i can pin that section so what i need to do is make sure that it's seated completely tight see how i'm grabbing the blade and doing that it's a really sharp knife um but i think i think i have it seated to where i can finally get my hole drilled and i just got to make sure i'm using the right size bit and i am so now comes <laughs> the task of um drilling out that hole hold on all right, so I got good news, bad news. So um, the bad news is I threw on some titanium bits and I cannot drill through this. Um, the good news is that means this is really well hardened. Whoever did that did a great job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be able to JB weld this thing right on there. And um, I think it's gonna stick. I did put a couple divots in there, which will help. Plus there's gonna be JB weld all around this rat tail which is going to bind like crazy. Um, so it will hold it in there just fine. Thinking what I might do, maybe some kind of wrap, I don't know. I might just just do it as is or um, just uh, scuff this up a bit and do a new stain. But um, I don't know, I, I even JB Weld, I think it's gonna be really cool. But I have to grind this down. I have to set that. And I think I have to set this prior to doing that, even though that re, um, risks heating. But what I'm gonna do is just give it a, a all the way to the spot where I want it with this on there, un, um, un uh, glued basically, and just go from there, see what happens. All right, so pretty cool so far. So this is the guard. You can see it's just tapered in boop, boop, on the bottom. It's just a nice thin aluminum guard, but it keeps the hand off of any of the bad spots. Oh, it's hot. Um, and once on there, good. That's all it's going to need now is a little bit of um, a little bit of JB Weld, and that will that will seat it really nicely. But this is going to go from a junk pile knife um, back to a uh, a rotational knife, and I, I really like it. I really like it. I, I wish Hibben did it this way in the beginning. Um, you'll notice I rounded these off. Then I rounded up here off. So I made the handle just slightly better contoured. Um, you can see that the, um, the steel is ground out in the rear. This thing, this thing feels really, really good in the hand. If you remember how the 1917 buoy feels in the hand, you can pretty much guess what this is gonna feel like, only this will feel a little bit better um, just because it's more contoured now. I was thinking about doing a groove in here, but it really doesn't need it. Um, so far, so good, man. This thing, is, this thing is pretty balls to the wall. So now I just gotta make sure I got some JB Weld left and put it all together. All right, so all it has to do now is dry, but I got a little bit of glue on there. On there, what I decided to do is go with a wrap, and I tucked 
the string into the slot where the rat tail was, did it all up, crossed it right there, glued it down. So now I'm gonna have an olive wrap. This thing is freaking sweet. So once the JB weld holds up or dries, it will hold up. So I'm not worried about that. But um, this thing is going to be so much better than the original way Gil Hibbins, uh, Gil Hibbins designed it to be. And I still have the original Gil Hibben leather sheath, so that's pretty sweet. Um, but that's it for this one. Uh, next video I do will be testing this thing as is while it is all dried and cleaned up a little bit. But I have to say that this is impressive. This is impressive. It is so much better of a knife now. Um, I think I just might have to really like this thing. It, it really gives off some... Um, some first blood vibes right here. I am really, really digging that. All right, so the knife will dry and then it will go through testing phase. All right, that is it for this one. I am Dottie B all day. Till next knife. All right, I am so freaking stoked on how this turned out. Now, I, I think I have the original Gil Hibben sheath somewhere, but instead what I did is I took one of my old budget buoys that I don't really ever use, something I just customized and had her sitting around. Um, and I took the sheath out of there because it's perfect. It's literally almost made for it. So now I have this really cool sheath, right? It's kind of got that nice look to it. And this thing's awesome. So I did obviously decide to wrap, um, and I have to say, I'm really happy I did because of my hand size, it fits way better. I mean, it's literally built for my hand. Um, what I did is I gave it a satin finish. So I refinished the entire blade. Um, it was that super high polish. Now I think this was like, what was it called? The Gil Hibben Survival Buoy. I think that's what it was called. Um, and obviously this was the 1917 by Cold Steel. And this was some budget buoy sheath. So it, it feels really good. I think this looks so far better than the, um, than that, uh, than the original design. I mean, the blade, because he copied Lyle, it's beautiful. I mean, Lyle's Rambo blades are some of the greatest looking. This is the shape of the Rambo two. Um, obviously a little different here. And that's almost it. Uh, he really copied this thing all the way down to the wire cutting split right here. Um, but with the aluminum guard on there, nice and nice and thin, it does its job, right? It's made to be a guard. Um, it, it's just awesome. So I, what I have to do is test it. But bah, this thing, this thing is really cool. So the build is done. And because it's, it's got a D-bad guard, and I reshaped the handle. I cut down the steel. I wrapped it, obviously. Um, it's got a little bit of D-bad in it, which, which I like. I, I don't want it to just be taking a 1917 grip and sticking it on a Gil Hibben. Then it's really nothing I did. But to, to hand make... Um, to hand make the guard um, and then do the wrap and to reform everything in the rear and reform this top spine to give it nice curves. I get to put my stamp on it and then to take the blade and just give it a satin finish um, and knock down a quarter inch off of, off of that rear uh, rat tail. And now because of, now I used to be able to see the rat tail right there, but because I put this over it and into the slot, now it's invisible, so you can't see that anymore. Um, but this thing, this thing is a Frankenstein knife right here, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, it just looks great. So this is going to be my my uh, debatted Frank, not a debad. It's a debatted Frankenstein, really, because I didn't make the blade. 
I didn't make the grip. I just made them better. Um, the blade's pretty much as is, except for the color. Um, so I didn't really have to do anything to there, but the guard is definitely me. Um, the grip redoing is me. Um, it's just fun, man. It's so much fun to be able to take a broken knife and turn it into something that was better than it was original. Um, I cannot wait to take this out and use it. This thing is sweet. This thing is sweet to all like Gil Hibben fans and and uh, and um, Cold Steel fans alike. This would probably be something that you'd really love. So if you have one sitting around and um, you don't like the grip on the on that, or if you have a 1917 and you don't like the grip and you take it off and you wonder what you're gonna do with it, I mean, this works out pretty well. It it came out really really good and all these threading. All this threading, I put JB Weld on the actual handle on the wood. So all the way around, it's JB welded on. So that shouldn't go anywhere. I was thinking about selling it, but I don't know. I, I, I really like it. I really like it. Um, I, I think the whole, just the way it feels is really cool. And I have to say, rather than find that, I'm not even going to go look for that Gil Hibben sheath. I think I like this better. I like this better. It's actually just really cool. It fits think this would match my uh, my army uniform to be honest um it's just really cool this is this is pretty sick so that was my project a uh d-bad hibben cold steel frankenstein blade it, it's just really cool we're gonna have to call it like franken rambo or something this thing is bad all right so that's it for this one another broken knife turned into an absolute freaking success. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All day. Until the next video.